Buckle up, because in today's cartoon story joke, we're about to dive headfirst into a joke that's funnier than a hamster riding a Roomba. Ever heard those tales about finding a dusty lamp, rubbing it, and out pops a genie ready to grant your wildest wishes? Three wishes, poof, instant gratification. Sounds like a dream job, right? Well, hold on to your magic carpets, folks, because being a genie is about as glamorous as a sock puppet convention. Imagine being stuck in a bottle for centuries, only to be yanked out by some eager soul demanding world peace or perfectly wrinkle-free shirts. It's basically customer service for wishes, with a healthy dose of be careful what you wish for, thrown in for good measure. But you've heard the stories, right? Rub a dusty lamp, out pops a fabulous being in sparkly pants, ready to grant your wildest dreams. Three wishes, bam, instant gratification. Sounds like a sweet gig, doesn't it? Well, let me tell you, from the other side of the lampshade, it's not all sunshine and smoky exits. Being a genie is a bit like being a customer service rep for wishes. You get the full spectrum of human desire, from the truly epic, I want to be a billionaire rock star astronaut, to the mind-numbingly mundane. Can you make my socks magically fold themselves? And don't even get me started on the loopholes. We genies have our lawyers, tiny, fire-breathing ones, naturally, for a reason. You'd be surprised how many people try to twist their wishes into 10 or 12. I wish for world peace, but only on Tuesdays, rolls eyes. Then there's the whole, be careful what you wish for thing. Let's just say I've seen more monkeys paws than a zoo. One guy wished to be the most handsome man alive. Poof. Instant Fabio haircut, chiseled jawline, and the inability to leave the house because every woman within a 10 mile radius fainted at the sight of him. Not exactly the smooth sailing he envisioned. Look, don't get me wrong, there are perks. The all you can eat buffet in the genie lounge is legendary. Flaming hot Cheetos and ambrosia, anyone? And let's face it, who wouldn't love the occasional trip to Bora Bora to poof someone onto a deserted island for being a jerk? But mostly, it's just a job. A slightly smoky, sparkly, wish-granting job. So next time you find a lamp, consider this. Maybe the genie inside just wants a decent cup of coffee and someone to vent to about the existential angst of being stuck in a bottle. We're not just magical wish machines, you know. We have feelings too, though mostly heartburn from all those flaming hot Cheetos. Alrighty, folks. Buckle up tighter than a squirrel on a roller coaster, because we're about to launch into a joke that's funnier than a mime stuck in a bubble wrap factory. A woman walked along the beach when she stumbled upon a genie's lamp. She picked it up and rubbed it, and lo and behold, a genie appeared. The amazed woman soon came back to her senses and asked if she got three wishes. The genie said, Nope. Due to inflation, constant downsizing, fierce global competition, and low wages in third world countries, I can only grant you one wish. So, what shall it be? The woman didn't hesitate, she said. I want peace in the Middle East. See this map? I want these countries to stop fighting with each other. The genie looked at the map and exclaimed, Good lady, these countries have been at war for thousands of years. I'm out of shape after being in a bottle for centuries. I'm good, but not that good. I don't think it can be done. Make another wish. The woman thought for a few minutes and said, Well, I've never been able to find the right man. You know, one that's considerate and fun, likes to cook and helps with the house cleaning, is good in bed and gets along with my family doesn't watch sports all the time, and is faithful. That's what I wish for. A 100% perfect good mate. The genie let out a long sigh, shook his head and said, Let me see that mop again. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.